Hey there, I'm Catherine Jemmett. Welcome to my first of three video blogs in association with Asquith London. I'm a Pilates instructor and have been teaching on a one-to-one -one basis for the last 18 years. My focus is working with individuals of all ages to help them apply the basic principles of Pilates in their day-to-day -day movement. So today, we'll be looking at Pilates in standing. Okay, so let's look at a body with little postural support. It's collapsed through the waist, with no spinal length, and the joints are compressed. So how can Pilates help? In Pilates, our feet are our base, from which we stack our main body weights. For our feet to be a stable base, we imagine three points on the base of the feet, with one point through the base of the big toe, second point through the base of the little toe, and the third point coming through the centre of the heel. This awareness prevents us from dropping our feet in or rolling our feet out. We then bring our pelvis or centre of the body over the three points on the base of the feet. We do this by softening or unlocking our knees. The pelvis then becomes our centre. Our pelvis can tilt forwards, backwards and side to side. In Pilates, we look for a neutral or upright pelvis where our pubic bone and two hip bones are in one level plane. The pelvis becomes upright and sits over our base with length through the front line. With a neutral pelvis, the upper body falls centrally over our base. To support this position, we bring in the use of our deep abdominals. We do this by drawing them back towards the spine and upwards towards the ribcage. This lengthens our waist. OK, so now we need to breathe. We want to avoid taking the breath into the neck and the shoulders and also into the abdominal area. In Pilates, we breathe into the ribcage and this is called thoracic breathing. So take a breath into the back of the ribs, draw the abdominals backwards and upwards, soften the breastbone and breathe out, closing the ribcage over the neutral pelvis. Take another breath into the back of the ribs, care not to break open, draw the abdominals backwards and upwards, soften the breastbone, collarbone wide and close the ribcage over the pelvis, maintaining your abdominal support and length. This is called your powerhouse, from which we can move without any tension. So this brings us to our final principle of opposition, where we activate length and strength. So again, take a breath into the ribcage, maintain your abdominal length as you close the ribcage over the neutral pelvis, breathing out. This time, imagine your tailbone lengthening away through the three points on the base of your feet and at the same time, the crown of the head lengthening away in opposition. This strengthens your powerhouse and forms your strong centre from which your limbs, your arms and legs and your head can move freely without tension. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. My next video blog will be Pilates in Sitting. Thank you for watching.